I've, we've just got to our location. I'm here with a friend of mine today, Elle, and uh, we've got a lot of clearing up because this is an old forest. It's full of pine, redwood, Scots pine, some uh, beech, and plenty of cedar, a few birch as well. Uh, plenty of resources. There's tons and tons of uh, large hand grenades, or cones, should I say. So I'm going to get cracking now, guys. Get on with the work that needs to be done. Get all the ground cleared so I can set up the tarp and the hammock and uh, hunker down for the night. So guys, stick with us and uh, let's have some fun along the way, eh? There's been quite a bit of uh, tree fall. As you can see with the roots there sticking out. And uh, in the distance, there's trees that have gone over there as well. See, if we check up above, there's no deadfall. But it's been fairly stormy over the past, well, last week and the week before, but there's no deadfall, no widow makers. There's one tree there bending right over. All this area needs to be cleared out. Uh, then we're gonna sit the tarp. I'll put the hammock across there, stick the tarp across, and uh, probably anchor it down at the back. Or yet, yeah, I might anchor it down this way, so we're facing that way. And um, but we've got to clear all this brush away first, collect uh, wood for the fire, and uh, a few other odds and bods and sods and all that stuff. The area is full of uh, willow herb, you know, from uh, last year. So I need to get rid of that. Just clear the area of all this rubble. What's really fortunate is, check out that, the size of the uh, here. Look at them. Excellent uh, fuel. This is just, that's just wrong on many levels. Give Badgie something to play with though. Most of the cones that have fallen in this part of the forest have fallen from the Scots pine, Pinus sylvestris. This type of pine mainly grows in poor rocky outcrop type places on the edges of forests and uh, in poor soil. And just beneath the scorched pine needles and grass, the soil's quite sandy. So in these conditions, the hardy Scots pine flourishes. However, where the soil is more fertile, pines like the spruce or other broadleaf species outcompete this majestic tree of the Scots. that through and you've got your tarp nice and tight 
Yeehaw! What we're going to do is we're going to do a, a raised bed. We put a raised bed here for L, our mate L, and uh, it'll also do do us as a bit of a, a bench as well to sit down on. Um, then we'll stick the fire around about here down below. But the weather's supposed to be okay for this evening. Uh, there's no rain forecast, but we've got that up as a deterrent really from the sun because it's quite hot today and uh, sunny and I don't want to get, uh, I'm prone to getting really burnt uh, so I soak the sun in so it offers us uh, a bit of shelter from the sun and uh, cools down this particular area but we're going to get on with this bench, bed type thing get that sorted Oh, it's a cracker. Right. Right, move it over there then, but I'll sort this bench out. See what I mean about what I'm good, mate, my friend. So put that there like that, knock them down a bit more. Just to brace it. Yeah, yeah. Anything that's Rotten, mate. I don't know. I don't know. This is going to work out. Let's just see. Because the the ground is fairly loose, it's uh, it's working for us. You know what I mean? Just about. But there you go. That's the idea. We've got two there. I'm going to put another two on the other end, uh, just to level it up, and then you can start then putting. Yeah, logs along for your bench. Yeah. I need some more stakes. Yeah. You see, what you're giving me is knots, tons of knots. What? What? Now, we're talking about knots, basically. Right, go on, give us a give us the steak. Oh, look at this, what you've given me in there. That was me, look at that, so good in. Oh, oh well, you've given me it, yeah. That's Not a even got a bit of bark on it. Yeah. Right. 
Yeah, some of this wood though, it's just fairly rotten, man. Look at that. You can drive this in. I will do. Let me just clean it up. Nice and bonny. <laughs> nice and bonny. My God. There's your last one. Well, that's, that's a bit better, at least. Oh, give me the bit there. This is what I'm... It's experience, Jill. I'm getting more experience being right. you. Yeah. Better, Challenging. Better, better chunks of wood to clean up. Dress. To dress. A wee bit more challenging. Right. Last one. That's all right. You want to saw that if you can. Oh, right, wait a second. Wait a second. Yeah, just saw. Saw that in a minute. I'll just do this for you. See how it's rotten. Punk wood. Got to get it down to where it's solid, or else it'll just crush your time because it won't work. Oh, dude, you've got four there. Yeah. You saw that bit off, you won't. Yeah. Like nah, sorry, because we're going to hammer it, you see. Let's get this ass out of the way. Sorry, bud. Right, there you go. Right. Now that's done. Time to uh, get the other two logs up level and then you can put the cross beams on
Ja, ich weiß. One more. Yeah, I guess we need some moss away. It's not moss, just chuck it down there, but when we're uh, when we're done, just fill it back for that. Yeah, out. from backfill then. It's coming together. So I need to get a platform going so I can start the fire. Good wood for splitting. Tons of this uh, old man's beard, good tinder, still feels a bit damp. Happy days.
That square up, up. Hey. That square up. Yeah, measure it up and then and that down again. Yeah, quarters. Happy days. That's it. And here we have, for later on, some Wainwright. Beautiful. It's fire time! Fire, fire, fire time. Let's get tons and tons of tinder. Already. Oh, I'm not going to use that. Fire time. Build this baby like a baby that's never been built before, like a fire that's never been built before. Just pile it on. Pile it on. Pile it on, he says. Right, put your tools away first. <coughs> put your tools away. Pretty quick, right? Yeah. Good enough. That'll just go now. Yeah. No problem. Happy days. Quick demonstration of how to get a fire going. Around. 
get some food on her. Starving, man. I think we deserve a B and A, don't you? Yeah, yeah. So why not? Rewind or zoom out. One of the finest sounds in the world. Oh, yeah, baby. Nice. Wayne Wright. And me and Elliot have done it. The Wayne Wright walk. All 197 miles across the Lake District, North Yorkshire. North Yorkshire was. <laughs> we don't know, but Yorkshire Dales. Yorkshire Dales, yeah. We drunk before we've started. Badgie's trying to steal some of the alcohol, aren't you, baby? Nice so that that little slither there. Yeah, it's really I've got I've got them. Oh, like I've got about four or five. Keep them in here and they use other like tenders whenever I'm around but did we that, get that from the last three three years got that. Yeah. I mean you got it didn't we? Where from? That river River Oh when we were we just up that part, but we, we Yeah yeah yeah, yeah. That, that's the stuff. And that's white right stuff. We've got stuff in there as Black well. Black birch, we? yeah. Black birch. You still got that have you? Mm. That's a little bit slither of it. Right. It's all, all gone, that thing, yeah. All we'll gone. We'll get some more, won't we? Yeah. Fucking good stuff. <laughs> it is, it's beautiful, it's beautiful stuff. Nice and tidy, that. Oh, yes. Nice and tidy, but we can have a seat. We can have a sit down for a little bit. Ah. Let's start going. Put it back on. Now, I said no, it's a small, no small, it's not small. It's just Rory. Yeah, yeah. Rory. <laughs> Sabladeur. Check that fire, baby. Are you comfortable there, Bash? Are you comfortable? Next to your Uncle Elliot. Nice out of a fucking seat in it. 
nearly four bid end time. And they're in, they're coming in to roost. Noisy gits. No, I Yeah. Noisy, aren't they, them birds? <laughs> no. I've never experienced this sort of sound. Just a multitude of birds, a flock, a massive, massive flock of birds that are roosting above and um, never really experienced it. I don't know how about you guys, but they're not attacking me, they just might attack the tarp later on. It's gone way down a level or two it is quiet now in comparison to what it was or has been for the past hour I mean I certainly hope you can hear this and this is quiet but uh, yeah they have been out and about causing mayhem as far as sound is concerned you know if you're ever recording anything the last thing you want is too much background noise the fire's going nice and tidy In a forest, very, very near, very much near the shoreline. So the sea is probably 200 meters to the uh, the east of me. I hope you're all having a good time wherever you are. If you're not out and about, I hope you're having a good weekend and enjoying the weather here in England. It's been very warm, very warm. I'm not sure what it's like you guys across the, uh, the water over in America or Australia uh, or the rest of Europe but uh, we're having a bit of a, a sun spell in the morning the temperature is going to drop apparently uh, there's a cold northerly um, wind uh, on its way so temperature should drop but it's been, been a bit of a corker today as far as got my trusty hammock all ready and I'll show you my slippers eh? can you see my slippers there They're too bright it's way too bright isn't it those are my slippers so I take my boots off at night get into the hammock and I wear these babies yeah, let me show you difficult enough to try and uh, get these in focus but there you go is that better look at my little babies there so when you have to get up in the night and do what you do what we do as far as uh, toiletries are concerned and stuff like that then uh, I can put them on rather than putting boots on you now it's just finishing the last of the food off. What oh, is that for badger? That yeah. Yeah. savory, savory rice. We've had pork belly and uh, a couple of uh, ribeye steaks. Uh, Elliot hasn't eaten that, obviously, because he is a vegetarian. I don't know what's wrong with him, but he seems to have gone to the other side. But um, yeah, no worries. I used to be a vegetarian actually years ago, for about six years. But uh, yeah, he's had uh, he's had his rice. So, so on that note, 
and I, I will lead you through it. Guys, I am swinging away and it's like the jungle was rocking all night. Uh, you just missed the morning chorus. There is a flock of crows flying around, creating mischief as they debate with each other. A few ravens and a load of other gulls and so forth. I've heard a woodpecker in the background and um, things I just don't recognise. It's not been the best sleep, I've got to say. Badgie's been restless. But overall, so far, it's been a good trip. It's a very good trip. So we're going to break camp now because um, we need to get back earlier than usual today because it's Mother's Day. So we need to get sorted for that. <sighs> like the sneaky beakies, we've got to break camp, get out of here and leave no trace. Elliot, how did you sleep last night? Um, on and off. How did, how did your... your, your Spanking brand new bushcraft bed, do not very good. <laughs> Rock hard. Uh, they're not what they cracked up to be. Not what they cracked up to be. <sighs> we give it a go, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. This is the type of thing you want. And but inflatable. I never used my bondage rope. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Yeah, to hanker it all down. To hanker it down. But you need to, so um, it's not 550. It's not 550 paracord, bud. No. I think you need to edit that. <laughs> I'm not editing that, bud. That's well going in. Uh, by the way, um, none of that rope was used on me uh, during the night or uh, any part in making this film. By the way, do you want to see the view that we can see as we look out this morning? Let me show you. Beautiful view. Outstanding. There's camp over yonder. Right. 
because I've got my whittling stick, man. My whittling stick. Eh? Practice stick for doing your cuts. Practicing cuts and stuff like that, you know, bushcraft cuts and everything. So, got that for later on.